welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to finally be filming a new video. Um, it has been way too long. So today I'm going to be showing y'all how I do my very easy everyday go-to makeup routine. I'll only be using a few different products and a few different brushes. I'm not a morning person at all so I try to keep things very simple and very easy in the mornings. Don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel and my blog which I will link below as well. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. I'm going to jump right in. So as you can already tell, I have a lot of darkness under my eyes and a lot of puffiness. Um, this time of year, I have extremely bad allergies. Um, I have allergies year round, but this time of year is awful. Starting off with the new Revlon Color Safe Prep and Protect Primer. Um, this one, I think, has an SPF of 34. It's just a really thin liquid. My mom has been using this and she swears by it, so I'm going to give it a try. It feels really nice on my skin. Um, I'm still going to go in with my professional primer and just put that on top because um, I do have larger pores. And what I like to do with this is I like to just rub it together until it's just pretty warm in my fingertips. And then I just kind of press it into my T-zone area where I'm the oiliest and where I have the large pore issue. If you do have large pores, um, Try to find a thicker primer like this one by Benefit or the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. Both of those are pretty thick primers that really help to fill in the pores and it makes your pores look so smooth and flawless. Now that I have my primer on, I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Cake Concealer. Um, this is the color, this is the color light. I don't know about y'all, but I've got some serious acne breakouts going on right now. I don't know if it's the weather or hormones. It's that time of the month for me, so it is more than likely hormones because I do get really bad acne. But forehead acne is kind of new to me, but um, I'm also doing like this 30-day challenge where I've cut out like sugar and dairy and gluten. So apparently when you cut a lot of things out of your diet, um, you do tend to break out for a little while. Your skin just kind of pushes all those toxins out. So hopefully that's what's going on. Um, I'm going to take this concealer and I'm just going to kind of dot this underneath my eyes. And I am filming with a different camera than usual. So um, if it goes out of focus, I'm so sorry. Since I'm not going to be using a foundation today, I'm going to go ahead and go over all these little breakouts and little imperfections with the concealer. And I am kind of taking it down my nose area, um, my chin, and underneath my nose just a little bit. And this is just going to help with all the redness. And I always put concealer on my eyelids because my eyelids get super dark. So now I'm going to take a damp beauty blender. Um, something that I've learned about beauty blenders is that if I wet mine too much, my skin stays oily all day long. I don't know why that is. But um, now I just kind of wring it out the best I can to where it's almost dry again, but not quite. And then I'm just going to blend out this concealer. And I'm kind of taking it down to my cheek area as well because I do want it to cover and kind of work as my foundation today. Since I have oily skin, this has been like my go-to routine, especially during the summertime because it did not matter what foundation I used, I got oily every single day that I tried to use like liquid foundation. So the concealer and powder method has just worked better for me. So if you do have really oily skin, you could always give this a try. Um, I am somebody who likes a fuller coverage foundation, but this works for me. So I feel like it would work for you guys as well. I use self tanner. So, um, what I like to do is once my concealer is all blended in and I get my powder on, I'll go in and just kind of bronze up my skin a little bit to match my neck. Now I'm taking the Urban Decay One and Done Ultimate Brush Off Set and Go Powder. Um, this is a new product by Urban Decay and 
Um, I really like it. So taking the same damp beauty blender, I'm just going to set my under eye area with this powder. Okay, so now I am just going to brush that powder off. I just let it set for just a couple of minutes. And I like to just dust it off lightly. I feel like there are so many good new products out right now. So drop your favorites in the comments below. Um, tell me what you're loving lately. If you haven't tried the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, you have to try it. It's so good. Um, it just gives you like such an airbrushed look. So I just like to take a little bit in the top and just kind of pack off the excess. And I start just lightly buffing this into my skin. Now I'm going to take the Benefit um, Pink Squad Cheek Leaders Palette. Um, this has a highlighter, um, some blushes, and my favorite Hoola Bronzer inside of it. I love to pack this when I travel because it kind of has everything in one palette. It's just easier. I'm just taking my Hoola bronzer. I'm going to start bronzing my cheeks. So as you can see, the bronzer is already starting to match like my self tanner. And with your bronzer, you always want to go in like a three shape. So you want to do like your forehead into your cheek, underneath your cheekbone, and then your jawline. These are all the areas that the sun naturally hits your skin. Since this is like a super fast makeup look, um, I don't have a lot of time to do like the contouring and the highlighting. Um, I do the basics and you can kind of tweak it depending on how much time you have. But um, I just take the same brush that I bronze my cheeks with and I'm just kind of going down the sides of my nose. This just helps to make your nose look a little more sculpted and straight. I always go over my face with a large fluffy brush just to kind of blend out any harsh lines or edges. Then I would go in with that same bronzing palette and use the blush that's inside of it. But I'm going to switch it up today and use the Becca palette. This is the Chloe and Lika palette. Um, this is one of my go-to palettes for myself and my clients. I absolutely love it. You can see it has gorgeous colors and I've used this bronzer so much. So what I like to do is just mix those three colors um, I just think that mixing the three gives such a gorgeous color. And I'm just going to blend that into my cheeks. I'm taking this highlighter and I'm just going to pop that on the tops of my cheekbones. Um, this is a very subtle highlighter so it just gives like this gorgeous healthy glow. Looks like I've been drinking a lot of water, and I have been trying to drink a lot of water lately, but still not enough. Do y'all drink water? I don't know. I just feel like I would rather drink like coffee or something flavored all day long than I would water. I'm just taking my pinky finger, and I'm going to pop that highlighter right on the inner corner of my eyes just to make myself look more alive and awake because right now I'm not feeling very alive or awake. So I just tap that on there and then kind of blend it out. I'm using the same bronzer and blush palette and I'm going to take this second color right here and I'm just applying that to my eyelid. With my finger. I use bronzers and blushes on my eyes all the time. Sometimes I even use highlighters as my lid color. Now I'm going to take this bronzer and just apply that to my crease. And I'm just blending it into the crease and kind of going upward. I'm just dragging that color upwards. And I'm going to take a little flat liner brush and apply that bronzer 
right underneath my lower lash line. I'm taking the L'Oreal Original Mascara and I'm just going to coat my eyelashes several times. So I'm using the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner and the color is All Natural. This is one of my top favorite lip liners in the entire universe. While this one to me beats like all the high-end brands, um, I've spent a lot of money on lip liners before that are nowhere near as good as this one and this one is so affordable. So if you have not checked it out, you totally should. They have lots of different shades. Uh, I think I have like one in every color. Um, I'm just going to line my lips with this color and then I'm going to kind of fill in as well. So I'm going to try out a new color that I've never used before. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipsticks and the color is Queen Bee. I really love this formula. I've been wearing these all the time. I just haven't tried this exact color. I just thought it was like a really pretty neutral pink. So I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Dark Brown Pencil on my eyebrows. And I just very lightly filled them in, um, kind of followed like the natural shape of them. You can use a brow gel instead if you don't have a lot of time. Um, I just like to fill in very lightly because I do have lighter eyebrows um, that don't really match my hair color. And I also have a lot of like little sparse areas in my brows. So I like to fill them in. And then I will just take like the little spoolie brush on the end and just blend through make sure I don't have any like harsh lines or edges okay guys that is it um, I told y'all this was gonna be such an easy and simple effortless makeup look um, this is for my girls who don't have a lot of extra time in the morning I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment below if there's like a specific tutorial that you want to see next um, I plan to do some good fall looks here in the next couple of weeks Speaking of fall, I am so excited that fall is finally here. I can finally wear my sweaters. Um, I want to know what you guys are planning to do this fall. Um, what kind of festivities y'all are getting into. Um, I want to make a little like fall bucket list, but I really don't know where to go or what to do. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. And also let me know what you're planning to do. I'm just such a lover of fall in general, like cooler weather, crisper leaves beautiful scenery, um, pumpkins. I love Halloween. I know that's so weird. Some people hate Halloween, but um, I love spooky season and sweater weather. So I'm really excited that it's finally October. I probably plan to do like pumpkin patches, of course. Um, I kind of want to do some haunted houses, but I am the biggest chicken ever. So probably won't get into much of that. So I hope you guys have a fabulous week and I'll see you again soon.